Good evening, everybody. It's Johnny from Acorn Wealth Corp, and I'm super excited. We are uh, not far away at all until our uh, Smart Money Trading Workshop starts uh, to, on Tuesday night at 8.15 p.m. Eastern. So I just want to do a quick recap of what we're going to be covering tomorrow, as well as two very explosive trade setups uh, that we recently identified that you want to be aware of. Um, of course, a quick standard disclaimer up on the screen. Uh, we'll be talking about some live market conditions and some live positions here at the moment, so it's for educational purposes only. Um, and uh, Acorn Wealth is not a registered financial advisor in any jurisdictional province. So let's jump right into things. Tomorrow night, Tuesday, October 17th, we're going to be talking about how to piggyback explosive moves um, by following the insiders, by following the smart money. And um, uh, and I wanted to just give you a, another example or a couple of examples of why this is just so powerful. And one of those stocks just exploded today. Um, firstly, let's just talk about the markets before we go into those two stocks. Um, firstly, the market is at very, very dangerous highs. Um, the market conditions over the last next few next few months are going to set some people up to possibly wipe out accounts or have considerable losses. It's also going to set other people up to making some considerable profits. Uh, what's the difference? Well, it's going to be whether you have an edge or not, because this is, after all, not a stock market, but a market of individual stocks. And where the market's at right now, there's almost just as many stocks going up as there are going down. And that's some of the key things that you really need to look at is which are the most powerful setups you want to be taking long and which are the most powerful setups you want to be taking down. And um, of course, my belief is that the best setups, the strongest setups are where you've got smart money going in your favor. Um, let's have a quick look at the market and you'll see what I mean. Uh, if we look at the S&P 500, we're continuing to edge higher and higher and higher. And that may make you think the market is going up. But if you actually look at one of the smart money indicators, we'll be talking a lot about uh, tomorrow night, uh, which is uh, looking at how many stocks in the market, not the market, but actual stocks that make up the market, how many of those are above or below their 50-day moving average, you'll see a very different trend. So let's go to the weekly chart. And what you'll see over the past 10 years, we'll go back all the way to 2010, you'll see that once again, stocks um, have once they've reached this 80% mark, that's 80% of stocks above or below their 50-day moving average. Once we've reached here, uh, one time, two times, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, eight times, we have gone, stocks have turned around and gone straight down from this area. There's been a few times where we've gone up, but notice that we go, we, we don't pause at the 80% line. We go straight through it, and then we, we go one, two, three, downturn. One week, downturn. One, two, three, downturn. One, two, three, downturn. One, two, three, four, five, downturn. But in all those situations, the market didn't stop at 80. It kept going higher. What you'll notice right now is we have stopped at 80, and in fact, we're already retreating. So this is a very interesting market of stocks um, where you really want to make sure you're in the strongest longs and looking at the strongest shorts. So while this market goes up, there's been some amazing moves to the downside where smart money, for example, like Blackhawk Networks, plummeted from $44 just the other day, all the way down to 34 Would it be a big surprise if I told you the insiders were selling all the way through this consolidation ahead of earnings? So this is what you want to be looking for, looking for shorts where the smart money is setting up with a perfect pennant pattern, predicting a downward move to this 38 area and other moves like it. But tonight, instead of talking about the shorts, because we've got lots of time to be doing this tomorrow, tonight I want to focus on two particular longs, which we identified a couple of, um, well, back in August. So MRTX is the first one. Now, MRTX was a stock that we identified on August 21st from our Smart Money Scan and sent it out to our students. Um, one of the things we looked at is, of course, the smart money was loading up. If you can see here, the 10% owners, Boxer Capital, um, as well as the 10% owner, uh, Braslin, as well as the CEO uh, further back in 2016, were all increasing their positions uh, and increasing them substantially. The CEO added 70% more to his position using his own money. The 10% uh, owner, Boxer Capital, went up by 73%. Um, the other 10% owner added 29, then another 5, then another 2. All of this accumulation with their own money and, of course, no selling. Um, the, the percentage size was also important. And if you have a look um, at the chart pattern, you'll see what happened. We had this huge downward draw 
then this long, 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 long base, and it just started to make these beautiful curves and start to break out right here where we alerted our students to. So we'll zoom in there. This was the day, and I'm going to show you the video when we when we actually publish this alert here in a moment. But uh, right there, it broke this um, this downward consolidation and started to bounce off the moving averages. And, uh, and you can see one of the smart money indicators that we use had gone from sell to strong buy. Again, we'll talk a lot about that tomorrow. And uh, from there, you can see what's happened. From where we alerted people at, uh, at to close to around $5.50, we've now rallied over 170% uh, all the way up to a high here of uh, $15.40. Uh, incredible on, a, on surprise news, but not really a huge surprise when A, it was predictable, and B, the insiders were loading up all the time before this. Uh, let's look at the other one. Oh, and by the way, for disclosure purposes, I do personally own a position in both of the stocks that we're talking about uh, in my own portfolio. Um, so for disclosure purposes, uh, but uh, let's let's go back to the next setup. Uh, TRXC, this one amazing, all over the news today, all over the news. Um, also, this is one we rec uh, excuse me alerted our students to back on August 21st. Again, I'll show you the video here in a moment so you can see the analysis of how we found it. But big increases in the buying activity new buying, big percentages, strong technical patterns, same stuff, same ingredients, keep it simple. And look here, August, the director increases their position by 150%. The other director increases their position by 208%. Now, the dollar figures might not seem like much, but the percentages certainly should. And there again, you can see 278%, 74%. These are 24%, a $5.2 million buy from a 10% owner. This is huge stuff. Now, so the, the insiders are loading up, and let's have a look at what happened. TRXC. There again, there is where we alerted it to our students, was back there, August 21st. That was where we sent the alert out saying this is a smart money trade that looks very interesting. Once again, stock going nowhere, look at the smart money buy indicator. Bang, 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 breaks above zero, great buy signal, and once again, breaks out of this consolidation right there, and once again, Look at where it came from. Huge downward bottom, started to make these lovely little curves, and then off to the races. So everyone was surprised here that FDA approval went through, and they're going to be one of the few companies in the world that has these robotic, or excuse me, in the US, that's been approved for robotic uh, surgery machines. Um, stock skyrockets up 92.47% today. Markets taken by surprise, but once again, the insiders and the, and the smart money indicators were going a blaring by from this point onwards. So this one was up 272% since when we first found it in our smart money scan. Gee, do you think the, the, <laughs> the insiders knew something? Um, so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share with you the video from August 21st where we actually talked about these two stocks back to back, not cherry picking. There were two in a row that we actually highlighted in the scan. And uh, take a look at this. And I know that I'm going through things quickly, so forgive me. But uh, just before we start the video, again, all of this is going to be covered in depth in the workshop tomorrow. So if you haven't registered already, uh, make sure you do acornwealthcorp.com forward slash event. And, um, and that's where you're going to be getting all the deep um, the deep down analysis on how we found these, um, what types of things we're looking for, and of course, what's going on with the market and how we approach it. So um, once again, I'll start the video here for you. You can watch it and we'll come back to a couple details after. See you in a second. We'll just consider updating the stop signal to $4.87 to allow that con to continue. Um, now, this could really have some long-term potential fuel, so uh, I wouldn't be in a quick in a rush to uh, to get out. Again, it's, it's rallied now from originally back down to the $3, high $3.80 entry signal. Um, uh, so look for a target of, uh, let's have a quick look here, 61.77 and uh, 64.33. Uh, bring brought down from 74.33. Uh, those target areas we're looking for. Okay, uh, MRTX has done really well. Obviously, this one uh, right from, from back in the early days of July with the original entry signal has had a beautiful rally up. Money flow has just gone straight up. As you can see, it rallied, formed a consolidation here, downward channel, which is bullish. 
Um, we had a few touches there on the top line. One touch, two touch, three touches, broke out. And uh, looking uh, like a flag here. Was up on 441,000 shares on Friday. Only pulled back today on 76,000. So that's looking pretty good as a long. And um, obviously... Uh, we just consider updating the stop signal to $4.87 to allow that to continue. Um, now, this could really have some long-term potential fuel, so uh, I wouldn't be in a quick in a rush to uh, to get out again. It's, it's rallied now from originally back down to the three dollar high three dollar eighty entry signal. Um, uh, so, I just protect your profit. And if you're looking for a new position, just you know have a consider a stop signal and and and, and move it up as it goes. Uh, I do think this could be longer term a a juicy one. It's got some insider buying on that, of course, as well. TRXC, uh, just now that this is an expanding range channel, um, which is uh, so which is normally kind of consolidation, but in this sense, this serves as a bullish pattern um, because the money flow is going to the upside. That gives us also bullish sentiment that this could possibly do a little bit more than just a short pop to the top of the channel. <clears throat> um, I, th I, I think it looks good. To, it looks good if it breaks the high of today's candle. Um, I'd be looking at a stop signal at 66 cents. Um, a short-term target would be 87 cents. But really, I think this has got the potential of going um, uh, further, um, at least to 97 cents, where we start to reach that uh, kind of one dollar psychological barrier that you can see kind of comes in here as well with that 105 resistance but if you look once more at the longer term picture there's a uh, uh, there's a long term potential there for it if you go to the logarithmic chart you'll see that there is a, a possible um excuse me one second there's a possible uh, kind of downward channel here so again, we could uh, we could start seeing it to get to some more aggressive levels. So those targets would, would offer opportunities to take a little bit of profit off the table, or at the very least, uh, update the stop signal. So just cruising through here, um, that's, those are the. So there you go. Um, and as you can see, what we thought would happen um, did. We we never know how exactly high it would go, but um, it, this exploded all the way up to twelve dollars, and then even higher up to fifteen. And then of course we had the uh, uh, surprise news today, where this uh, thing absolutely skyrocketed after the FDA approval, and this could go a lot further. And that's why I'm uh, going to continue to hold my long position in this stock. But um, uh, but again, that's a, that's my own strategy. Do with it. Do with these ideas what you will. Uh, we're not here to recommend. Uh, but uh, but I mean, look at that. I mean, by an understanding of looking at where the smart money indicator was telling us, the smart money insiders were buying, and the perfect technical pattern. This is what the perfect storm is all made of. And in these kind of markets, when you're dealing with very risky times, what you want to have on your side is the best possible probability you can in both the long and short direction. And to do that, you do not need 15 indicators that overcomplicate the chart. You do not need expensive software with some magic formula um, that you just blindly follow. Uh, and you certainly don't need to be spending 10 hours a day going uh, to war with the market. It, it is much, much simpler than that. They don't want you to think that way because that's how they keep people who are losing money continuing to lose money is by making it seem chaotic, that you can't do it. But there's a much easier way, and that is to follow where these people's money themselves are going. <laughs> Pull back the cloak. Look at where the smart money is going. Look at what the pattern is because that's how high frequency is all working, right? If, if, if we say 80-90% of volume comes from high frequency, well, how do they make decisions? Let's follow their rules. Let's follow their patterns. Um, and then let's look at where the smart money insiders themselves are going. Because no matter how much research you do, uh, I'm not going to argue with the CEO of his own company if he sells 99% of his stock, as, and so does the rest of the people on the board of directors. They're all selling. I'm not going to go and say, I disagree. I'm going to buy. <laughs> I just wouldn't. Um, and this is how you get an edge. You employ the things that make the market tick, that shows you the research that's being done for you from the minds that matter most and that's of course what we're going to be talking all about tomorrow so i hope you'll join us again um this is just a nice little um introduction to what we'll be doing tomorrow for those of you who are already registered and uh, for those of you that are not you can do so once again by simply going to acornwealthcorp.com 
forward slash event. It's going to be great. Um, it won't be recorded, so do come live. We will put another event on further in the week for those who can't attend. But um, you know, tomorrow night's going to be a pivotal point, possibly for the market. So uh, make it live if you can. Register. And for all who register who can't make it, we'll send a follow-up invitation to the next event. Have a great night and happy trading tomorrow, everybody. We'll see you soon.